Eating disorders have the highest death rate of any mental illness. That's according to the National Eating Disorders Association. Netflix is looking to tackle the issue of anorexia in a new film, To the Bone. But the trailer's release is generating controversy. Valina Jones sat down with mental health professionals to hear their concerns. Well, eating disorders are often referred to as taboo to talk about to the bone that will debut tomorrow on Netflix is trying to change that by bringing the story of a girl struggling with anorexia to the big screen. But mental health experts worry that the film could be a trigger for those who struggle with eating disorders and glamorize the disease. It's these images. Melissa Walden, a therapist who specializes in eating disorders, fears will do more harm than good. It sometimes comes out as like a how-to manual, and what some people who are vulnerable to eating disorders might see is they might figure out, how can I engage in these behaviors better? Walden and registered dietitian Karen Morang believe this film could be a trigger. I'm only focusing on the anorexia piece, can almost be additional shame for those individuals um, at risk who really just would rather have their left leg cut off so they could be thin. The Netflix film starring Lily Collins, who struggled with an eating disorder in real life, follows the journey of a 20-year-old girl with anorexia. Good speech. In an interview with Access Hollywood, Collins said the film doesn't focus on the images, but the message behind them. I, nor Marty, nor anyone on the cast, um, would ever set out to make a film that would glamorize or encourage a disorder that I, nor Marty, personally went through that was so negative. Um, and so coming from that place, you know, we just want to hope to start a conversation. This isn't the first controversial film for Netflix. In April, 13 Reasons Why was accused of glamorizing suicide. Netflix later put disclaimers on the episodes. While it's not clear if the company will do that with this film, mental health experts say it's not enough. Are we creating more of a stigma when, when we're putting things out here like this? And so the part that um, I wish 13 Reasons Why would have done, and I hope what this film does, is talk about how people can intervene. Now, another concern is the film's portrayal of eating disorder treatment centers. Both specialists who work for the Eating Disorder Support Network say parents should pay attention to the warning signs. Now, if you struggle with an eating disorder, there are resources available in our area. You can find that information on our website, channel3000.com. Valina Jones reporting in the studio. Thank you.